What's up everybody? Welcome back to Axum. My name is Junior and today we wanted to take a look at Contra Rogue Core and see what exactly happened to this game. So let's get started. Seven years ago, Earth. If you're a fan of Contra like myself, then you might be excited to know that Konami has released the Contra Anniversary Collection and now they have the newest 3D entry in the Contra series, Contra Rogue Core. The game came out last week and if you haven't heard already, there are plenty of critiques for this game. The consensus among everyone is that this is not the best game and doesn't stand up to the continuation of the Contra Alien War series. I don't want to do a complete review of this game and that's already been done, although I will give you my thoughts on it, but most importantly I wanted to talk about what they should have done instead. So the developers over at Konami brought us the overtop action that we're all used to but they also tried to implement some new aspects to the game and that's definitely appreciated but while they're not all successful I think there's some positives in there uh, that they could build upon for the future. So first off is the visual. I mean look, look at it. I mean just look at it. The characters look horrible as does the environment and that is a big failure here. You have four characters that could have worked in this type of game with the overtop action and characters that would have been perfect and full of potential. The same goes for the bosses. There's huge grotesque creatures. Um, they're all really well thought out but visually is just doesn't pull it off. They need to be they need a lot of polish and the same could be said for the entire game. Each section of the game looks drab. Uh, the pixels look bad, the muted colors, the textures, a complete opposite of what we've known to, from Contra. Contra games where the environment is bright and the bosses stood out and memorable. This one, um, it's not as good. I mean, you can just look at this game. It makes you feel like everything's just not there and each area just looks exactly the same it's copy and pasted over just horrible visuals textures and everything in general so moving over to the gameplay the over-the-top violence um, is still there and is awesome still the difficulty is still there um, in this game you can select between four characters um, and play alone or with friends which is pretty good um, that's what this kind of game needs um, as you take on hordes of enemies the characters include Kaiser the human cyborg Miss Harakiri is a human with an alien stuck in her body uh, a hun hungry beast and this is a cyborg panda and the lastly is the gentleman an alien who's joined the team to battle the invasion each one of them uh, controls very similarly um, with the only differentiator will be their actual special ability. In this aspect the game shines, it's best played with multiple friends. If you disregard the visuals and just play it as a twin stick shooter with friends, this is definitely a great game. Uh, Contra World Core combines the twin stick shooter genre with some platforming but removes the fast paced hectic actions that we are used to. Everything seems just a little bit slower and not as clean. Uh, you'll find yourself dashing just way too much. Um, while clearing out each section of enemies, you're able to collect resources, uh, which can later be used to upgrade your characters and weapons, and that's a new addition to this thing. You can find those resources and then either upgrade your weapon or yourself through surgery. So that's a new concept that kind of like that and I hope they bring it back in future installments. And lastly for the review portion is the controls. If you're going to make a twin stick shooter, the movement and aiming has to be precise. And in this term, Contra Roll Core fails. Dodging enemies is essential and while playing I had to spam that dash move just to survive. The game has this difficulty and just slowing you down makes it even worse. The characters are so slow moving it's pretty ridiculous when you're 
being ambushed by a bunch of enemies and huge bosses. Uh, targeting with the right stick was also slow and not quite as precise so you end up just holding down that firing button and spraying bullets in the general direction of where you're trying to aim. Now one problem with this approach is that you have to keep an eye out on an overheat meter on your weapon. Maxing it out uh, to the heat means you have to wait for it to cool back down and while that is not a bad thing constantly taking your eyes off of the game and all the action to look at the bottom right of your screen to look what the current state of your uh, weapon is that's a bad implementation now later on you will be able to improve those aspects through upgrades but it's still very annoying um, I kind of appreciate the unlimited ammo um, aspect here but that weapon cooldown that's a good feature and they just need to implement it a little bit different and I hope they do bring it back because it makes you change your weapons around think about it more tactically so that was a good job there Okay, moving over to recommendations. So Contra World Core makes a lot of changes to the formula that we all know and love. There are several ways that this game could have gone and from my point of view a 3D stick, twin stick shooter was not a bad idea. I personally love twin stick shooters. They're definitely my top 5 genres ever in video games. Um, especially classics like uh, Total Carnage and Smash TV. Those are my two favorite twin stick shooters. Um, so I definitely love this idea and I would definitely encourage Konami to update this game or think about changes that they could make to improve it for the next time. So some things that they could have done differently um, include going completely 2D, uh, making a 2D shooter a platformer like the old days and if they wanted to take inspiration from their previous work, look at the collections that they just released, some amazing games with tight controls, hard difficulty, great bosses, and great multiplayer. That's what we want. So if they wanted, they could take inspiration from that. And there's even recent entries to the game, like uh, to the genre, like Blazing Chrome. This game is amazing. It's kind of short, but the graphics are there, the controls are there, the aesthetics is there, the comedy I guess where it doesn't take the, the game doesn't take itself too serious it's all there in Blazing Chrome this should have been the Contra game that they made the game provides all the old school visuals play styles and controls that we know from Contra and making another 2D Contra game would have been a huge welcome in addition to the series going this route would have definitely limited their amount of players that they could have on the screen but it still could have worked and I think Blazing Chrome would have been a great example of how to do this perfectly. If Konami didn't want to do the complete 2D route, then that's fine. They could have done more of a 2.5D uh, version of Contra and just mixed in some 3D aspects in certain areas like previous games that they've done. Uh, currently one game that I thought would be a good frame of reference is Mixed Termination Force. They're able to get that Contra feel with 2.5D graphics and some cool ideas for enemies. In a 2.5D game, you can get the same retro feel with updated graphics and could combine some 2D and 3D areas that would mix pretty well with the shooting and platforming as well as the twin stick shooter aspects is all mixed together. Opening areas would be more zoomed out, I think, um, so you can fit more enemies and more... Uh, players you don't run into each other but for big boss areas you zoom it in just a little bit so you can get every player can see exactly what's going on with the boss and not you know die constantly trying to stare at a small screen for Contra Roll Core Konami went with a 3D twin stick shooter and I'm glad that they did this and went in this route since most of the games in the genre tend to be 2D I definitely appreciate Konami for going with a 3D version. Some improvements that they need to make include patching the visuals and controls in future updates. Things that they should bring over to their next game if they decide to make a sequel. 
uh, would be that uh, weapon cooldown. That was pretty good. Upgrade abilities with their characters and weapons. The co-op multiplayer. And I would definitely like it if the maps was a, were a bit bigger so you're not all together in this little area being overrun by hordes of uh, enemies. So far each area is small and self-contained. This reminds me a lot of Smash TV where you're just running around in this little square room uh, backing away trying to kill as many enemies as possible. But if they also made a su successor to this game like Total Carnage um, from, from Midway, we could see a lot of improvements, the ones we mentioned earlier. Plus, much like Total Carnage, the next Contra game should be a 3D twin stick shooter in a more open world that scrolls along uh, the map, scrolls along as you progress. That would allow co-op multiplayer, but use more area and it doesn't feel so cramped as it does currently. Okay, and my final thoughts on this is, um, at the end of the day, the game is not worth the price tag. And I think because of the name, the price is so high, and it, it's just name recognition. If you took away that Contra label off this game, or if it was made by an indie developer, this game will sell for half the price. Currently, it's going for $40 and an extra $500 on top of that for the season pass which is way too much for a game with so many issues. With all that being said, I would definitely recommend purchasing it, but only if it goes on sale. And hopefully after Konami provides some patches to fix all the issues we mentioned before. Like I said, I love twin stick shooters. So while this game so far has been kind of disappointing, at a lower price, I could still recommend it as long as you gloss over the visuals and the controls aren't as good. Okay everyone, um, that's all we got. If you liked the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. It really does help us out. We also encourage you to subscribe to our channel and make sure to let us know in the comment section what your thoughts are on this game and your favorite twin stick shooters. As I mentioned before, mine is definitely Total Carnage. But that's it for me and myself uh, and the entire Axum team. We thank you for your support and hope to see you in the next one. Take care everybody. Lovely.